financial markets worldwide go through ups and downs, and among these, the cryptocurrency markets are the most volatile. While crypto transformed many humble investors into millionaires overnight, it also caused major losses to the rest. One thing, however, remains consistent. One can never be too certain about the outcomes of their crypto investment. Something similar happened when Do Kwon's Luna crashed rapidly. Let's look at the way things are turning out in the world of cryptocurrency. First up, what's the drama with Do Kwon and Terra? Do Kwon is the CEO of Terraform Labs, a company founded in 2018 in South Korea that deals with crypto assets. Kwon has previously been behind Basis Cash, a failed stablecoin crypto project. He developed an interesting plan for Terra's crypto asset management. Some called it genius, while others were unsure about its reliability. Kwon's basic philosophy is simple. There should be decentralized money in a decentralized world. Kwon wanted to create a new payment that would upend the status quo and become a substitute for world currencies. Terra is a blockchain platform with the ticker symbol UST and a cryptocurrency with the ticker symbol LUNS. Its blockchain was pegged to fiat money and the platform was mainly used to make fast and affordable global payments. Kwon's goal was to use Terra blockchain and Terra crypto to create a minimum loss crypto asset. If UST's value dropped compared to fiat money, Terra crypto would be burnt to mint Terra blockchain, bringing it back to its previous one-to-one -one pegging. Similarly, UST's value increased compared to fiat money and it will be burned to mint more Luna. Things were working great for Terra initially. Terra also claimed to be backed by $3.5 billion in Bitcoin reserves in case things went south. The main goal was to keep Terra blockchain stable. It seemed like Do Kwon's unique plan was a breakthrough in crypto assets. However, things changed for Terra and Kwon quite a lot, extremely rapidly. Up next, Terra Luna crashed almost completely. Terra Luna lost 99% of its value, falling from $120 to $0.02 cents in 48 hours. The reason behind the colossal crash is still unknown. The crypto developer calls the crash a failure in risk assessment. However, some financial analysts have come forward with different theories. Probably the plausible theory came from the founder of Cardano, Charles Hoskinson. According to Hoskinson, a large institution borrowed 100,000 Bitcoin from Gemini Exchange. Later, it exchanged most of that BTC for Terra's UST with Do Kwon at discount, lowering UST liquidity. In the next few days, the company dumped large quantities of UST and BTC on the market and caused a liquidation cascade. The liquidation cascade caused the prices of Luna to fall and triggered a positive feedback loop. Most investors sold their Luna holdings and some even unstaked their UST to sell their share of Terra crypto. According to some analysts, Terra was a Ponzi scheme that didn't have enough BTC in reserve to prevent the Luna crash. Here comes the important question, what will happen to Do Kwon for the overnight $60 billion UST crypto wipeout? Coming up, what happens next? Do Kwon gets jailed, not literally. Months after Luna's crash, investors worldwide are after Do Kwon and Terra. The South Korean developer and his company are facing multiple lawsuits over allegations of tax fraud, racketeering, misleading investors, and running a Ponzi scheme in both the United States and South Korea. However, there was one very unexpected response to the Terra and Kwon fiasco. A new meme coin called Jail Kwon is hoping to capitalize on Terra's infamy. Jail Kwon is a new cryptocurrency project which went live on 3 September 2022. It is supposed to be the first and unique educate to learn cryptocurrency. According to the project's founder, all proceeds will be used to increase financial literacy for the people. They will be given one-to-one -one educational classes about market analysis and crypto safety. Despite the initial success, the project's founders are unsure about its future. After all, it's a meme coin. In the past, we have seen other meme coins like Dogecoin and Shiba Inu go massively up and tank down from there. Today, Doge and Shiba are down 91.4% and 85.4% respectively from their all-time highs. The fate of Jail Kwon might likely be similar. Let's wait and see how things unfold. Coming up, why is Luna's Do Kwon not behind the bars yet? But seriously, why is Do Kwon not behind bars yet after causing havoc in the cryptocurrency market? News has emerged that South Korean authorities have filed charges against the CEO of Terra and are in touch with him. South Korean police raided Kwon's house last month as part of a probe into allegations of illegal activities. Also, the authorities have told Do to notify them of his arrival in South Korea, and travel bans have been imposed on Terra's employees. However, no arrests have been made yet. On the other hand, the story Kwon tells is very different. In a recent interview, he asked about his return to South Korea from Singapore. The CEO of Terra says it was hard to decide because his company had not been in touch with the investigators. Also, when asked about the prospect of jail time, Terra's CEO, holding on to his infamous arrogance, casually said that life is long, with so many people facing a collective loss of billions of dollars 
others, Do Kwan's remarks are considered insensitive and out of touch with reality. According to most investors, the crypto billionaire is least bothered about the horrifying Luna crash. Up next, redemption arc or empty promise? Do Kwan is not among those who back down easily. He plans to build up Terra again from scratch to turn investors' losses into profits. In his recent Twitter post, the crypto billionaire posted an emoji of a hammer and wrench. The tweet has a message. It shows that Doe has started fixing up the mess. Luna 2 is on its way. While taken as a hopeful sign by some people, many are still doubtful whether Do Kwan would be able to turn things around for his company. Also, it's natural for people to have doubts when Kwan has a history of starting hyped-up financial projects that often end up being massive failures. Let's hope things turn out differently this time. Now, moving on to other news in the world of digital currencies. Mexico's Senate building houses a newly installed Bitcoin ATM. Mexico's 14th Bitcoin ATM has been installed in its Senate building, showing the country's rapidly growing interest in digital currencies. A Mexican senator, also an outspoken crypto enthusiast, posted her picture with the ATM on Twitter with the caption, For Freedom, Inclusion, and Financial Education in Mexico. Mexico is rapidly integrating digital currencies in its financial ecosystem. According to a report, the transactional volume of Bitcoin in the country has surpassed the payments made through traditional payment systems like MasterCard, Visa, and PayPal. Also, over 40% of firms and businesses in Mexico are interested in creating a complete or partial shift towards crypto platforms, including blockchain and cryptocurrency. Here's the fascinating part. Mexico's major cryptocurrency exchanges saw a 342% increase in the trading volume in 2020. Currently, this platform has over 1 million users, of which 92% are Mexicans. Those who say the days of cryptocurrency are limited might need to reconsider. Up next, homeless being fed through cryptocurrency in the U.S. A Pennsylvania-based pharmacist has shown the world that cryptocurrency could be more than a transactional tool. It can be an instrument of goodness. Kim wanted to come up with an efficient mechanism to carry out welfare. Inspired by sci-fi movies like Blade Runner 2049 and Justin Timberlake's 2011 movie Time, he decided to turn to crypto for that purpose. Kim started a non-profit organization called Crypto for Homeless in 2019. Kim enjoys the freedom he gets from using crypto to receive donations. No central power could unexpectedly shut down or freeze his account. In an interview, Kim said that his goal was not to eliminate homelessness, but to reintroduce the human aspect of welfare. For him, charity is all about going to the homeless, no matter where they are, and handing out fresh warm food. Working with a dozen volunteers, Kim has collected over a staggering $75,000 in donations. He expects the numbers to increase in the coming months as more and more people become a part of his organization. Lastly, Ukraine accepts crypto donations amid ongoing war. The government of Ukraine has reached out to the crypto community worldwide through social media to raise funds for its troops and civilians. The Ukrainian vice prime minister also shared three wallet addresses. Initially, people were unsure about the prospect of fundraising through cryptocurrency. Many people thought the official accounts of the Ukrainian government were hacked. However, later, an American diplomat confirmed the legitimacy of the tweets with the Ukrainian ambassador. According to Ukrainian civilians turned refugees, they have lost access to fiat savings and credit cards amid the ongoing war. Cryptocurrency might be the only viable option to help adversity-stricken Ukrainian civilians and troops as crypto donations are fast, secure, and accessible. And that's a wrap for this video. How do you feel about the entire Terra, Do Kwan, and Jail Kwan fiasco? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.